So guys, recently I have been asked a lot of questions on how to print pixel art designs. Some of the questions are, can I print pixel art designs? How do I print pixel art designs? How do I print 5 feet by 4 feet flex banners using pixel art? Since pixel art I measured in pixels, how do I print in feet? Or just questions like that. Alright, so and many of them. In this video, I'm going to clarify you guys on the printing guidelines for pixel art designs. Before we dive into what we have today, I would like to take a moment to express my deepest gratitude for each and every one of you. Um, my incredible YouTube fans, your comments, like, and shares means the world to me actually and i truly appreciate you guys dedication to our channel if you enjoy the content we create and want to see more of it i kindly ask for your support please don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video valuable your likes helps others to discover our videos and it means so much to me when you share our content with your um, friends and family, you are helping us grow and enrich more audience. And of course, subscribing to the channel also is the best way to stay updated with our latest content. Thank you guys and let's keep these positive vibes rolling. So I'm going to take these questions one after the other. So the first question here is, can I print Pixel Lab designs? Of course. You can print pixel art design because I've done a lot of printing via pixel art. Like I've made a lot of design outside the designs I made using other softwares. I have printed pixel art designs and it came out clear and very sharp. So how do you print pixel art designs? Firstly, you need to um, design the project with pixel art, right? Yes, obviously. And then before designing the project, what are the things to consider? So the first thing to consider now before designing the project is the printing size exactly that you want to um, print. So now let's take for instance you um, want to print an A4 size poster. So let's take that poster for example, you want to print an A4 size poster. I'm going to make Google your friend here. So I'm going to head straight to Google now and then let's search for the size of our A4 size poster. So once we get this size, that is the exact size we're going to use to start our design project using Pixel Lab. So I'm going to search on A4 size poster and also um, this size if you're searching for this size on Google you need to put in pixel because what we use in um, in pixel app is pixels because if you just search for it like let's say for instance if you search for it like this you are going to be seeing um, the design in inches as you can see in inches and millimeters Although there are ways in which you can convert all this um, into pixels, which I'm still going to show you guys. But first, let's search for this in pixel. Pixels. All right. So now, as you can see, this is the exact size you are going to use to um, design your a4 size poster 2480 pixels by 3508 pixels which is obviously the width and the height so right now i'm just going to copy this 240 here and 3508 so and then i'll come over here and then i'll head straight to my image size i'll pick the image size and the width over there is um 
2480 and then the height is 3508 so I'm just going to copy this and I'll paste it here so as you can see this is our A4 size poster so I'm just going to make your designs do all the designs you or you put everything you want to put your designs and then you can print this all right so the next one is the next one i'm going to show you guys is what if um it is a flex banner you are asked to design a flex banner that um is measured in feet maybe um five feet by four feet five feet by six feet so how do you design this kind of flex banners using pixel up the same um method that you use in designing all these ones remember this method we use we, i just showed you guys on how to get the size scan it's not just for the poster you can use this thing to search for um the flyers the envelope anything you want to design you're just going to search for the printable size on google and then you get it and then you paste it here your image size and then you can send it to your designers and your stuff will be printed all right i'm just going to walk you guys through the sending the saving how you can save what format is best for you to save those files and what's the best format of sending them so your designs can come out and look neat clear and sharp all right so let's um take the five feet by four feet design so um right here what we are going to do now is to convert these feet into pixels so we can get the measurements in pixel app so once we are able to achieve that um conversion from feet to pixels then we can make our we can make our five feet by four feet flex banner all right so right now i'm just going to search on um feet to pixels exactly so these are links to the tools that we can use to convert our feet to pixels so i'm just going to click on this first one and let's take all right so here it says that one feet is equivalent to 1152 pixels and below we have um a button or a box where we can put in the value of the feet we want to convert and then all right so i'm just going to put something like this five here or let me say two by 3.5 feet okay so let's say okay let's say we're working with two by 3.5 feet okay i'm just going to put two here and then i'll convert so this is two feet in pixels i'm just going to copy this first um digit over here this first numbers two three two three zero four now I'll copy this and i'll head over to my pixel lab and then i'll change the image size remember flex models are usually in landscape so i'm just going to in touch change the um the highest figure for the width and then the lower one for the height since it should be landscape so i'm just going to give this to the height which is i think two two feet should be lower which is this then i'll paste this here and then i'll go over to this place and then i'll get the 3.5 we're working with two by 3.5 feet so i'm just going to type 3.5 feet to get the amount in pixels all right so we're having 4032 right here so i'm going to copy this and then i'll paste this here which should be the width so paste and this is it so this is this exercise for a 2 by 3.5 feet flex banner so once you've you're done with your designs and making all the things you want to do 
with this you can send this to any printing press to anybody printing and then they will get they will fit in this and then they will get your designs for you so remember guys the format you have to save this is custom and not um ultra save your designs as custom please not ultra because this out of experience uh, my experience i've worked with both ultra and custom custom savings um appears to like custom saving appears better clearer very sharp compared to other savings like ultra and the rest so the best saving format is custom save your designs as custom all right so this is basically how you can convert your feet it can be four by five feet any of them any kind of feet you want to convert you can convert them to pixels and then you can also search on any a4 size a5 size okay let's say we are working with a5 size i'm going to, i'm just going to come over here and then we'll search on a5 size A5 size in pixels. So basically, guys, your work here is to get the exercise, put them in Pixel Lab, make your designs, and then the printing press will bother about the printing and the, you know, the other things, right? Okay, now, so let's take for instance, you've got your, you've gotten your designs ready. Sorry, you've gotten your sizes and you've made your designs. Okay, let me pick up one of my designs. Alright, let me pick this. Okay, let's say I want to print this design I made for the clients. So I'm just going to like um come over here and then I'll save this as I'll save it as ultra sorry save it as custom custom then I'll save all right so guys I'm 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 just I'm going to show you guys how you can send this to your um to your clients so guys I'm going to use WhatsApp as an example let's take for instance you are sending your designs your client via whatsapp don't send your designs like this just like this because the quality won't be good enough to print whatsapp reduces your quality if you send them like this send your whatsapp files so, sorry send your design files as a document and this is how to send them click on this and then you click on document and you pick that exact design you want to send so you're just going to come over to and then you pick this design and you send it to your client doing it this way you can your clients can print the design and be okay with the quality and if you are the one printing the design you can as well do it this way and send it to the printing press the person in charge of the printing whatsoever and then your design will come out very good so thank you guys for watching and if this video really helped you in one way or the other kindly support the channel by liking sharing and subscribing and also don't forget to turn on the bell icon so you get updated whenever there is a new video see you guys in my next tutorial